the uh, some displays and institutions uh, for a whole hour, and we hope that many of you will find the Chilean um, presentation there. Our next uh, presenter is Norwegian mathematician Bernd Karsten Oxendal. He is professor of mathematics at the University of Oslo, a member of the Norwegian Academy of Science and Letters, and a member of the Royal Norwegian Society of Sciences and Letters. Professor Oxendal studied in Oslo and Lo Los Angeles, obtaining his PhD from UCLA in 1971. His research area is stochastic analysis and he has won many prestigious grants and prizes for his research work. He, is also, uh, he also has a sustained record of support for mathematicians in Africa spanning more than 15 years. This includes coordinating bilateral programs between Norway and Southern, Af Southern Africa, based in Zimbabwe and a second one based in Tanzania. After Professor Oxendal uh, speaks, we have the opportunity of an extra special presentation by Mr. Rune, Rune Olav Pedersen from Norway, who will speak briefly about his company's involvement in Ghana. As General Consul and Secretary to the Board of Directors, Mr. Peterson is part of the Executive Management at Petroleum Geoservices, a Norwegian-based oil service company. He has a law degree from the University of Oslo, a postgraduate dipl diploma in EC Law from King's College in London, and an executive MBA from the London Business School. Mr. Pedersen has come all the way from Norway, especially for this afternoon's presentation, and we're grateful for that. But right now, I will invite Professor Oxendal to speak to us on the role of Norway's programs in the development of mathematics in Southern Af Africa. Thank you very much for this nice introduction. And the problem with such a nice introduction is that it's very hard to follow up with the talk. So that I, but I'll, I'll, um, I will give a, a personal presentation, an informal presentation, the way I you know, experienced the cooperation with uh, mathematicians in Africa. Uh, it's dedicated to the memory of my dear cooperation partners, Sergio Salvani and Temba Shoniva. They both played a crucial role in the development of this cooperation. And unfortunately, they are not with us anymore. And Sergio Salvani was very important in the beginning when we cooperated with Botswana, and Temba Shoniva in, later in the cooperation with uh, SAMSA. Let me give some of the background for the, for the program. Actually, it started in 1993 when we had a visit from Professor Hyde, uh, the chairman of the Department of Mathematics, University of Botswana. And he came to us and told us about, okay, it, okay. he told us about um, the development of the educational system in Botswana, and it was very uh, encouraging what he had to tell us. Um, uh, earlier, there had been a cooperation agreement signed uh, between the rector of the University of Oslo and uh, I guess the vice chancellor of the uh, University of Botswana. And he also invited us to visit the department. So we went uh, the same year to um, uh, the University of Botswana to attend the um, 
some circumference. And um, with me from Norway, I had Knut Ose from the School of Economics, and participants from the, the University of Busan, where Edward Lunger, and uh, also from Zimbabwe, we had David Henwood and Mark Roberts. And so at this conference, we started discussing possible mathematics cooperation programs between the University of Botswana and universities in Europe. The situation and the problems with mathematical education at universities in Southern Africa were the following. First of all, although a mathematics program might exist on paper at most universities, there are too few, too few students at each place to run the program. And second, many students cannot afford to take the graduate studies. And the third, there is very little cooperation. Students from one country are not usually admitted for studies in another country in the region. And then there was a clustering of competence of the academic staff at each university. And very little movement of lecturers made it difficult to run master programs. <clears throat> and there were difficulties for talented students to continue into the PhD program. So in an effort to overcome these problems, we worked out a proposal for a new Southern African mathematical or a master's PhD for cooperation program uh, with the Norwegian program for development, research and education, NUFU in short. And this program was called Mathematical Modeling in Southern Africa. Uh, the main ideas of the program was the following. First of all, we wanted to build a center for the program at one of the universities in the region. And because of the good situation at the uh, University of Zimbabwe at the time, the University of Zimbabwe was chosen as the center. So we wanted one center with good research environment, and then lecturers from Europe and the Southern African region should be invited to come to the University of Zimbabwe to give courses, and also otherwise contribute to a good study and research environment at this institution. There was a two-year program, and the first year consisted of core mathematics courses, and in the second year, specializations, industrial mathematics, <coughs> environmental mathematics, and financial mathematics. And then, the, as part of this program, the students from all countries in the Southern African region should be able to apply for admission. And every year, up to 20 students with the best qualifications are admitted. And then the funding from NUFU pays all the expenses of the admitted students, housing and study expenses, including student fees, and administrative costs at uh, the participating institutions. Moreover, NUFU is funding PhD stipends for the most talented students. And in addition, NUFU covers the economy, travel expenses, and local expenses of the visiting lecturers. However, the salaries are supposed to be covered by the home institutions. <clears throat> and also, as a part of the whole package, all the courses and exams should be taken at the University of Zimbabwe in agreement with the University of Zimbabwe regulations. And and the University of Zimbabwe issues all the final documents. So it, it was a study at the University of Zimbabwe, but as a whole a regional effort. And so one of the main purposes of this program was to avoid taking students away from the region. We rather wanted to establish a strong and attractive educational research environment in Southern Africa, open to all qualified students in the region. And we believe that such a program would avoid the brain drain that often is the consequence when students from Africa are taken to Europe to study there. Statistics show that about 70% of them never return to their home country. So this program was approved by NUFU and started in 1996, and it continued after two <coughs> uh, periods of support, which, support, which is the maximum, and uh, terminated in 2007. And, and we believe the program has been very successful. Um, maybe Edward Lugo can correct me about the numbers, but I think about 60 master's degrees were created and 10 PhD degrees at least. And with few exceptions, these students have remained in the region after their studies and now constitute a substantial contribution to the general level 
of mathematical competence in the region. Some of them are even active researchers, and they participate at research conferences in the region and elsewhere. Actually, at the SAMSA conference in South Africa last year, at, um, at the conference dinner, we had a very high number of participants come. And uh, Edward Lungu came into the room and he exclaimed, what is happening here? Have, have the organizers brought in people from the streets? And actually, the, the explanation is that they're not from the streets, they're, they're students of the NUFO program, <coughs> and students of the streets of the NUFO program. So there's a very happy development. <coughs> now, in 2008, the NUFO mathematical modeling program was replaced by a similar program, the master's program, uh, by NURAD's program for master's studies, LUMA. And um, this was uh, called the Southern African Master's Program in Mathematical Modeling. It terminated in 2013. It was based at the University of Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. <coughs> now the program coordinator in Tanzania was Lucien Charles, Charles and the Norwegian coordinators, Julia de Nunum and myself. Now the main idea of the NUFU program was the same as for the NUFU, for the, sorry, main idea of the NUMA program was the same as for the NUFU program. Uh, all the lectures are given at UDSM by visiting the, church, the lecturers and partly by local staff. <coughs> it's a two-year program, every year an intake of at most 20 qualified students. All courses and exams are taken at the uh, USDN in agreement with the USDN regulations. Now in total about 110 um, In total, about 110 students received the master's degrees through this program. Among them, 31 females and 79 males. And most of the students who graduated are now working in higher learning institutions, both private and public, as lecturers. Now, um, <clears throat> the purpose of the NUFU program and the NUMA program was to start something. And it was never intended to be something that should be funded by Norway for an indefinite period of time. And that was also the intention in Zimbabwe. But because of the political situation in Zimbabwe, it turned out to be impossible to continue the program by means from the University of Zimbabwe. And, but fortunately now in, in Tanzania, we, we see that the, after the funding from, the, from Norway to the NUMA program has terminated, the University of Dar es Salaam has taken over the program and they now run the program um, partly on their own funds and also partly on, uh, on the students' private money. So as a conclusion, we are very happy with the um, results of the program. Uh, we think that it has um, contributed to the development of the mathematical um, competence in the region. Most of the students have remained in the region after completing their education and they've taken important positions at the universities and colleges and other places in the society. <coughs> now, um, regarding the NUMA-funded program, as I mentioned, it's encouraging that it's now being taken over by the University of Dar es Salaam. Um, but, um, all, so far, without any accompanying student fellowships from the university, but um, there are, the, the, there's a the hope that we can provide um, in support for a forthcoming program, from a forthcoming program. Um, ERI, ERI KEA, also funded by Nure, Nura de Norway, uh, to, to help you know, enhance the development now taking place at, uh, in Tanzania. Um, I should like, uh, like to, you know, add that um, although this was a, a personal presentation and based on my how I, uh, you know, experienced it, it's not should should not be considered as a personal achievement. I mean, this this is a 
result of uh, the efforts from a number of people. And uh, I would like to mention in particular uh, Edward Lungu and Knut also Mark Roberts and David Henwood, and Sergio Salvani, as I mentioned earlier, Herbert Fleischner, Persia Sibanda, and Temba Shoniva, and now Charles Wilson and Julia Dinuno for their friendship and valuable cooperation throughout these gratifying years of cooperation with countries in the Southern African region. So, <clears throat> Uh, for me, the cooperation with mathematicians in Africa has meant um, a new dimension in my life, both uh, mathematically and also socially. So I'd like to illustrate, you know, that um, working with um, mathematicians in Africa also has a social uh, aspect. Um, this is uh, from um, an excursion one afternoon in Zambia, where we had the SAMSA conference in Livingston. And they had intended to go to a, visit a, a cultural village outside of Livingston. But it turned out that the village had been uh, destroyed by a group of angry elephants. So we decided to walk down to the Zambesi. Uh, to, for, to have some refreshments and um, we decided to walk through the jungle there. We were very bold and we, made it. We, we thought we would be able to do it ourselves. But it was very hot, we were very thirsty. And to our surprise suddenly there is a guy coming with a bicycle with a Coca-Cola uh, <laughs> barrel. And he sort of saved our lives. So we were enjoying Coca-Colas. He had to wait for us because he wanted the bottles back. So he was patiently waiting while they finished uh, the, the cooks. And we made it to the Zambezi River, thanks to these refreshments. I would also like to mention that uh, now that the, the coming SAMSA conference in November will take place at Victoria Falls, and this is a picture from Victoria Falls at the same conference in 2003. You, re you recognize uh, several people here, like... Uh, Edward Lugu, and Knut Ose is there, and then there are other people, students. Uh, well, this is from the Zambian side of um, the Victoria Falls. Uh, this uh, November it will be from the Zimbabwe side. And um, as a last slide here, I'm showing you the first call for the conference in, in um, at the Victoria Falls in November. <coughs> so I think I'll stop there because uh, uh, my colleague from Norway is going to present uh, the program. So thank you very much for your attention. Um. Professor Oxendahl has offered to take questions, and I actually had one for him, um, because I would like to thank you very much for showing us the possibilities for positive change when there is a committed bilateral initiative taking place. And I'd like to know what you think is the most important for success of such initiatives. Can local mathematical communities do it themselves, or is it really important to have um, linkages with collaborative mathematicians outside? Well, I, I think it, uh, both these, or, or all these um, you know, contributions are important. Uh, we need, uh, we need um, you know, people uh, in local, um, people with enthusiasm, we need people in Norway with enthusiasm, we need um, support, and, um, and some, to some degree also some idealism, you know, because there is no money involved for any of us, but we do it because we, 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 uh, we have so much uh, you know, from, the, from the personal friendship, from the, the meeting other people in other parts of the world, type kind of words uh, in other types of the world, and also um, the cultural exchange is very important. 
So uh, I think it's a whole package of things and not one individual thing. Please join me. Please join me to thank Professor Oxendorf.